The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, speaking of spring, we are going to have a taste of the upcoming season with our weather over the next few days. Looks like our highs are going to be well into the 60s, maybe even close to 70 degrees at some points today. Uh, we had a nice improvement with the weather compared to what we ended the weekend with. You know, yesterday it was just dreary all day and cold. Today we got the sunshine back and close to 60 degrees for the high temperature. Now it is a quiet and cool night over in Blacksburg. This is what we're seeing on our sky cam at Virginia Tech. Current temperature is 47 degrees. We have a lot of places in the 40s right now, including 45 Lynchburg and Danville. Smith Mountain Lake coming in at 48. Roanoke's one of the only holdouts. Uh, we're still seeing the low 50s in the Star City. A couple places have dropped down to the 30s, including Withville as well as Lexington. The temperature is likely to continue to fall as we head into tonight. It will be a cold start to Valentine's Day. It looks like our lows are going to be down into the 30s, so make sure you dress warmly first thing in the morning, but I do believe you'll be able to take the coat off as you head into the afternoon because the temperatures warm up by about 30 degrees. Our highs for Valentine's Day are going to be in the 60s, and I think we are going to keep the sunshine around. If our forecast is verified, it actually looks like it could be one of the warmest Valentine's Days on record. I don't think we are going to set an actual record, though. Uh, you can see our warmest Valentine's Day was back on in 1990 at 73 degrees. Check out the coldest. This was just seven years ago in 2016. Nine degrees is what we got down to on that Valentine's Day. We've had some rain on Valentine's Day's past and even some snow. Uh, the snowy, snowiest Valentine's Day back in 1970 with more than four inches. Obviously, snow not in the cards this Valentine's Day because it is going to be a pretty warm one. We are looking ahead to the chance for some showers as we head into the later stages of the week along a cold front. And that front actually is going to cause the risk for severe weather for some other parts of the country before it gets to us. So you can see on Wednesday uh, the potential for severe weather in Texas and Arkansas as well as the mid south and then that is going to be shifting to uh, basically Ohio all the way down to the Gulf Coast on Thursday. I don't think that severe weather is in the cards for us, but we certainly need to track some showers later on this week before that system gets here. You can see on Wednesday we're going to have our warmest day of the week and we're going to be staying mostly dry, but that storm system gets closer to us by Thursday. Thursday, you see the green on the map indicating a good chance of for some showers, and I think those showers are likely to linger into the first part of our Friday as well. We're going to see colder air on the back side of that system. You're going to notice the cold on Friday, and it's going to stick with us on Saturday as well. I think we're actually going to start the day Saturday with temperatures in the 20s, and the best we're going to be able to do is anywhere from 48 to 52 for the high. It's going to be a brief cool down, though, because the temperatures bounce back to kind of similar levels to what we had today by Sunday, anywhere from 56 to 60 for the forecast on Sunday, and I think we'll have plenty of sunshine this weekend as well. Here's the next 24 hours. You can see 35 the low overnight tonight, getting back up to about 64 for the high on Valentine's Day. The temperature is likely to stay pretty warm through Wednesday, Thursday. We get that brief cool down Friday into Saturday, but you see how the temperatures bounce back as we go into the second half of the weekend, as well as President's Day on Monday. Unfortunately, we were a little off on the three degree guarantee. The forecast high 56, we hit 60 degrees. Going to try to do better tomorrow for our charity. Our forecast is 64 degrees.